What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy DJ Raw. See right here? The frame thing I'm putting together is gonna be my greenhouse. This is where I'm gonna put all my little babies in. See the mesh I'm putting up to keep all the molds and the rodents. I'm gonna put some on the ground as well. Put some shelving up over here. You know? And uh, that's my lime tree. This year we get limes. Oh yeah. And look at these babies. We put them in the pots yesterday. And we wanna see how they're doing today. And they're standing strong. You can see they're firm. You can see they're strong. They're like this one's having like a little little issue there. But I think it's gonna be good. This is papaya. And these are all my papayas growing in here. This is kale, kale, and kale. And in here, um, that's uh, kale over there. I, well, we're big kale fans, so that's right. We got kale and we got cabbage. Oh, yeah, this is my cabbage right in there. That's cabbage. And these guys are my steak beef tomatoes. And we vegans. I don't even know why they call a tomato a steak beef tomato. I don't know what the heck that is about, but okay. That's what it is. So, you know, and then I'm coming over here. I'm putting up a gutter. And there's your boy DJ Raw, South Florida's legend. You know, putting it up. You know why? So the water, I'm going to put a, a bed here. A raised bed. By the way, this is for my cabbage. Ooh-wee. I'm gonna put a raised bed here so I could grow carrots and um, just a bunch, series of other stuff. You know what I'm saying? That I'm gonna be growing right in this area and I didn't want the water to continue falling down on me. So I'm getting down like that there. And I'm saying that to say this. When times get rough, you gotta adapt. You gotta get out that lazy comfort zone you're in. If you're in an apartment, man, go buy yourself some pots you ain't even got to buy them you could probably find buckets on the street if you can't afford soil get you a uh, something to dig with get, gather some soil together man from the park from wherever you got to do what you got to do a little bag of seeds is a buck 68 man and it'll feed you for a year or two bro because the kale you just pick the leaves off and it comes like a little tree and it'll keep you could keep harvesting the same kale man for like a year that's right so you know and then the cabbage you know how long cabbage lasts wow that's that's spectacular and then some tomatoes tomatoes don't last that long but guess what we can have fresh tomatoes and we can sell them yeah because if you have your own home like i do i could have a little farmer's market out front because i'm gonna share put it this way i got right now 280 sprouts let's say on an average i get 250 vegetable plants they're going to yield right and then it's going to be a, a a big yield so when i harvest guess what i get to hook up my neighbors and sell some eat a lot because we love to eat you know we just love to eat this stuff so yeah anyway i'm just keeping you up to date i'm going to take you through the step this is going to be called ghetto planting hood planting ooey and dewey uh, um, Mo, Larry, and Curly could do it. Anybody could do this. You know, it's easy to do, but it's also easier not to do. Keep depending on McDonald's and Win Dixie's and Publix. Keep depending on these places. And one day you walk up to that spot, and that spot is closed. You already seen it. People panicking. You going to Walmart? No water. There ain't nothing in that Joker. You know, by the grace of God, we get rain. You know, and our water's still on. We have to boil some, but we could get to the water, right? We have to give thanks there. For everything that we have, we have to give thanks. But what we truly have to do is prepare our food supply because without food, we perish. Without water, we perish. That's where I say your health is your wealth because if you don't have health, there's no way you could keep chasing the dream. Bless up. We're like on day five, you know? Day five, ghetto planting, <laughs> hood planting, uh, you know, and it's 60 days from right now is harvest time on the kale. And I invite you to have some with us. 
you have a blessed day dj raw it's coming together that's right this is your boy dj raw and this is where we're at this is week two actually week three from where we did our planning you know created a little haven in here right I got some red peppers growing in here. I got some ginger. You see it sprouting right there? And that's my guava. Wow. It's my mint tree. Kale. Beef tomatoes. Oh, look at the kale coming through. I love you. Oh, look at the tomatoes. Wow, they're so beautiful. And these are the second ones I'm putting in. The second cycle. See them? That's right. Oh, I just put the pineapple in. And I got some more uh, red peppers. And I threw some lemon seeds in there. But look at my onions. Wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. That's right. It's your boy DJ Raw. And this is what we call anyone could do it especially during these times it's a beautiful thing i feel great look i'm just using some miracle grow soil that i picked up at walmart some non-gmo seeds you know yeah that's right and this is where it starts right here right and now i'm gonna let them get a little stronger just a little stronger before i move them into my bed which I'm putting together right over here. See, nothing's lost. My uh, mango leaves, I'm uh, putting them in the bed. See that? So nothing's lost. And me and my father-in-law put this together. Me and my daughter built the, you could call it a greenhouse. And I just want to share with you, man, because if I could do it, if I could do it, you could do it too. So I've been out here grinding, you know? You see the hands, look at the nails, you know what I'm saying? Getting down. And this is my little girl. Couple of hundred dollars, you know? And it got done. And within the next, what, couple of weeks, we'll be eating kale. In the next 90 days, we'll have beef tomatoes. In the next 90 days, uh, that's my cabbage growing underneath the table. All right, and I, once they get a little bigger, I'll transplant them in here. This is where all the cabbage is gonna go, and of course, in the bed. So all I'm encouraging you is to live in 5D instead of 5G. Live in the fifth dimension, man. Open up the penile gland, you know what I'm saying? Open it up, man. Give yourself a chance. And definitely, man, stay away from the vaccinations, man, autism, all that crazy stuff they want to pump into our bodies, man. Sad. Very, very sad. I want you to pass the video on and, you know, just tell people, man, hey, look, this brother's from the hood, went to prison for almost 12 years all together. And um, he was able to put his little garden together in just a couple of weeks, man. You scrap wood you know, built a little per se greenhouse, you know? It's not perfect, but it's mine, you know? This is mine, I put this together. And that's pretty awesome. I'm very proud of myself. I love myself, I love you. Because if I love myself, I have to love you. Starts with loving, that's what I'm saying. All this madness, cam trails, the pleading of the ocean, you know? All these, uh, raising all these clone cows all over the country, you know, poisoning our people, cancer, prostate cancer, colon cancer, cirrhosis of the livers, uh, high blood pressure, um, all these hundreds of thousands and thousands of people on dialysis, you know, it's crazy. You cannot be human. How can you say you love us and you want to govern us when you're letting all of this nightmare happen to us?